Okay, so today in Blender, we're going to learn how to keyframe color changes and make a cool RGB icosphere. Okay, let's start. Firstly, we're going to delete the default cube. Now let's do Shift A, Mesh, and add an icosphere. Let's click on this little tab down here and change the subdivisions up to around 3. Now click on your icosphere. Let's go to the Materials tab down here and add a new material. Right now our material is white. We can leave that like that for now. Let's go and change this to view, uh, to a shaded mode. This, this way we can see the color changes. Let's make sure that this is keyframed once. And now let's move to the 20th frame. If we change the color now in the base, um, if, if we change the color now in the base color and we make it a blue, we can click the button again to keyframe this property. So if we were to play this or play our animation back, Blender automatically fills in the color change between these two keyframes. And now we have a nice gradient. Let's go to for frame 40 and move this all the way over here to the pink part. So that way Blender will fill in that. Let's keyframe it. Now let's go to frame 60. Let's move this all the way to red and let's keyframe it. Now we can do 80. Move it all the way to the green. Keyframe it. Finally, we can do 100 and move this little dot all the way to back to blue and keyframe it. Let's select our circle again and play back our animation. You can see that Blender has managed to fill in the, um, the changes between the colors, which is a useful tool if, if you're animating. Another thing we can do is uh, hold S down on our keyboard and and uh, and make sure that these are selected. Then if you drag it all the way to the start, we can have a faster animation. Let's do that. Just select, hit A to select all. Let's move it all the way back to frame zero. Again to select all. And now we can play, play our animation. It's much more fast, and if you wanted to slow it down, you could hold S to scale that up around there. Let's play it now. There we go. But if you want to add an emission, we can just go back and do all of these same steps, uh, except with, instead of doing a um, base color, we can add emission, uh, the color for the emission, which basically means that it's going to emit a certain kind of light, so it's going to glow. Firstly, in order to see our emission in Eevee, let's go and click on this little camera icon. If we're on Eevee, we have to enable a, a setting called Bloom in order to see the emissions. Let's go back, and let's make sure that we're on our first keyframe. Let's go to Emission, and let's just turn this V up. There you go. You can see it's glowing now. Let's go to the let's go to the next keyframe. This was where it was blue. So now we can change the emission to that same nice blue, like this. Now we keyframe that. Now let's move to this emission. Right here, it was in the spectrum. So now we can keyframe the emission to violet. Let's keep doing that for all of the rest of the emissions. Now, you might want to know that there are other ways to do this in Blender, but the point of this episode is to teach you this way. Let's go and drag it all the way over here. Back to where we started. Now, if we play our animation back, you may notice that Oops, I played it wrong. You may notice that our uh, little RGB thing is glowing. And we can turn up the strength. Let's change it to around 5.7. Now we've got a really cool RGB icosphere. And now you know that how to keyframe color changes in Blender.
So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It will really help me out. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully.